Ladies and gentlemen, a presentation of national anthems. Please stand. The national anthem of Sweden. Please stand. And now, the National Anthem of Macedonia, please stand up. Hello and welcome once again to the Care Sportski Centre here in Serbia as we get ready for the second game from Group B here at the 2012 European Handball Championships. Clayton Lucas here with you as Sweden get ready to take on Macedonia. Well, Swedish squad is there for you to see and two standout players. Number five, Kim Anderson, the right back, plays his handball in Germany for TW Kiel and also look out for number 15, Jonas Laho. He can play centre-back or left-back, plays his handball in Denmark. Well, it's a short hop across the border for the Macedonian team. There is your glimpse of Kim Anderson. And uh, a lot will be riding on his shoulders. But uh, definitely used to that kind of pressure. The Macedonian team, well, for them, it's an achievement to make it here. They may well be perceived as the whipping boys, but they'll certainly be giving as good as they get. And players for them to look out for. Number seven, Kirili Lazarov, the right back, who uh, plays his handball for Atletico Madrid in Spain. And they'll be looking to their big number 16, the goalkeeper, Borko Rostovsky to uh, keep them in the match. Ola Lindgren, the head coach, along with uh, Stefan Olsen, two players, legend legends, as far as uh, Swedish handball concerned. Four Olympic Games for Lindgren, three Olympic silver medals for Stefan Olsen in what was a golden era outside of the Olympics for Swedish handball. Svonko Shindovsky, calm looking head coach for Macedonia, but he knows his team are going to be up against it. The pedigree of Sweden against the sheer determination of Macedonia. 4,000 seater stadium which has been newly refurbished ahead of these games as we get our first glimpse of. Stefan Olsen, he's been here, he's seen it and he's done it, but not as a coach. And so it's all new in that respect as they look towards trying to accomplish something in this European Championships for Sweden. It's Macedonia in red and have the throw off and they've got the ball. Sweden defending in yellow as the first attack is trying to build for Macedonia. Angelowski not getting anywhere.
First goal, huge roar. It's like a home game here for Macedonia as that ball finds the back of the net from Mojovski. And that's one thing they will have on their side, Macedonia, is the crowd. And a great save from the talismanic keeper, Ristovski. Just look at the fans, they really are up for this one. Let's hope their team are up too. Stoilov, number five, just makes his way over to the line. He's going to look to cause some trouble for Sweden's defence. Wojcicki with the ball. Trying to create some room. A little bit of uh, close attention being paid to Wojcicki. Two nil, Macedonia. Zalijowski, the left winger, and puts that one away. Huge whistles as uh, Sweden have the ball. They're going to be booed and berated, but they have their first goal, courtesy of Kim Anderson. I can expect a very bright start from Macedonia with the fans behind them. Two halves of 30 minutes, there's a long way to go. And we're only two minutes into this second match. The other game in Group B saw Germany take on the Czech Republic. 27-24 for Germany. We were always in control. Something Sweden will look to do. That's a nice pass. But they've actually gone backwards as a result and they've given up the ball. So the fancy footwork proves uh, no good, and that one sneaks in. Kirill Lazarov with a really nice shot, very fast arm, and nothing at all the keeper could do. Pedersen. Macedonia defending brilliantly, and again it's another turnover. Well, they're acting like an extra player, aren't they, the Macedonian fans? And it's working so far. Lazarov. Majowski back to Lazarov. Pedersen is paying close attention. Good save, courtesy of the crossbar. Mm -hmm. close up of Tomelikov. Mm -hmm. Sweden look to make something happen. Passing, but no real impact, although that will do very nicely indeed. Andreas Nielsen. All on his own. And very deftly done. Had acres of space, didn't he? Majowski. It's going to depend on just how well Majowski can move the ball around, and so too as that one finds the back of the net. Kirill Lazarov, although he's taken a knock, be a bit of a dead leg. He's not happy. Let's have another look. Makes this goal. Oh, well, the player defending had turned away. Couldn't really see. 
There's no intent. And already five minutes down. Macedonia could prove to be the dark horse of this pool. It is quite an open pool in terms of three teams will go through. Germany have not started particularly brightly. And I guess you could say, and certainly would feel, that the team that gets a win here is in the driving seat along with the Czech Republic to qualify. And then it becomes a battle between the two losing teams because they will have to play each other. If it is Macedonia, Germany, then the winner of that might well be booking their place through to the knockout stages. Nice finish again from Andreas Nielsen, the pivot breaking through. Macedonia aren't really paying him close enough attention. Stoilov lumbers his way up to the line. And he's met by uh, Jeremia. He's off, moving it. It's going to come back his way, is it? Yes. Sweden that very quickly. And that one is wide of its mark. Stanilov is a huge man, isn't he? 92, 110 kilos. Good save. But not at the second time of asking. Great reactions from uh, Elizhovsky. Is that ball? And ricocheting back out off the first attack and the save and then straight back in nothing at all that Johan Schostran could do to keep it out in fact he's uh, taken a knot for his troubles the first one was saved with his face looked like he pushed it away with his hands so a chance for uh, Marcus Sola Lundgren to have a few words with his uh, defensive players to see it Swedish attack builds. Macedonia still in front, leading by two. And still the Macedonian fans booing Sweden. And Sweden, they're a well supported team away from home. But uh, nowhere near as well supported as Macedonia will be for this game. And in fact, for all their games here in Serbia. Just in the area, it's not going to count. Again, Andres Nilsson is proving to be a threat. The Macedonian team, as you might expect for uh, a side that is not playing higher echelons of handball, except with a uh, couple of ex players, the likes of Lazarov and Vletko Mitkov, who's playing his handball in Austria. Their team and their national team built around a club side, HC Metalurg, eight of the 16 squad in that uh, domestic team. And it's uh, certainly something you see where teams need to get that competition, they need to get those players together and training regularly. And there's not the funds and the opportunity, and there's no the skill to send them abroad. They get them together, they can train together. It does, of course, mean they should dominate their league. As uh, Stefan Olsen can't believe what he's seeing. And Sweden have turned it over. Chance here on the quick break. Oh, dear, denied by the crossbar. And Frederick Pedersen will be pretty annoyed with himself. And it's going to be a yellow card here. It's a Macedonian player. Macedonia not in any real rush, they have a two-goal lead. Oh, nearly three, is that one just spun past? And there's some trouble here by the looks of things. And it's going to be, is it, a two-minute suspension for Tobias Carlsen. 
Just about his hand. It must have been too high for the officials' likings. Have another look at this. Up he comes. Well, the hands high. It's around the neck area. And so it's an instant two minute suspension. And Macedonia. Well, not to be underestimated, and they're proving that here. Lovely. Great reverse pass. And a super put away from Elishovsky. Coming in off the wing. It takes another bit of resin from the heel to add to his hands, make it nice and sticky. And then Shostrom just uh, getting some uh, advice from his uh, goalie compatriot. Andres Pelica just saying the ball. A little bit close to the armpit, getting under there. And that's the idea, really. You want to be shooting close to the goalkeeper in that midriff region. Because whilst they're spreading themselves, the hands and feet are furthest away from the body. So anything in between, under the armpits and above the hips and tight in, is uh, a good place to go. That's why the goalies wear those nice big tracksuits. Catch a bit of the ball, slow it down. And now we're getting to see a, a bit more of a vociferous Svonko Shidomsky. But still, Macedonia in the driving seat. And Sweden have to play through a cacophony of boos and whistles every time they have the ball. Communication just makes uh, is that a little bit more difficult. Oh, well, that was it. A soft goal, really, from the point of view of Borko Rostovsky. They expected him to keep that one out. Kim Anderson gets it. He was a long way out. He was up high. It was into the corner, across the keeper. And he probably feel he should have done better to have kept it out. Sweden soak up that attack. They're back to full strength now. The power play coming to an end for Macedonia. And that means Sweden can attack with the full gamut of players. And up London, Zanders Nilsson to the line as he'll try and make it difficult, open some spaces, work some holes for his team to shoot and maybe work some for himself. So it comes to nothing. Offensive foul. And so Macedonia keep the ball. And more importantly, keep their lead. Slow build up to the attack for Macedonia. And not even a suggestion of passive play yet from the officials. It is subjective, it is up to them, of course, when they do it. And passive play, those of you just sort of tuning in and watching it, it's uh, players aren't allowed or teams aren't allowed to just keep hold of the ball because you could do, couldn't you? As Anderson gets himself a yellow card. And a good talking to from the referee. You've got a one goal lead and then you just pass the ball around. Well, you could do that for half an hour. So obviously. That's not very exciting. And so, hence, passive play can be called if the team has hold of the ball for too long. Then you'll know if that's happening. The referee will put his arm up to uh, warn the players that he's thinking about passive play. In other words, sorry, out lads, get on with it and shoot. Good defence this time from uh, Frederick Pedersen to deny Macedonia. Bas Carlson right in the thick of it. More holding, more trouble for Sweden. Yellow card and careful, just talking to the referee like that. And there you go, two minutes suspension. Don't talk to me like that, son. Jelena had got his yellow card and then he had a back chat to the referee and there's only one outcome, two-minute suspension. Referee's there to better the game, keep it running and they're not there to be talked at by players and certainly not to be told what to do.
Brilliant finish. It's getting better and better for Macedonia in this first half. Stoy loves it was, he put it away. Three goal lead for Macedonia, another two minutes of power play for them. Sweden with their second two minute suspension to have to deal with. Being handicapped and being shut out here. And that's a yellow card for Macedonia. Forever, as always, the coach is well, never not mind your boys, they're innocent. Ref, they've got over the ball for Sweden. Well, the roar is for the save for the fact that Sweden again are missing their chances. To be fair, on paper, it should be a cakewalk for Sweden. With the exception of a couple of players, all of their teammates, all of the uh, players are in either Denmark, Sweden or Germany. And a couple in Spain playing their handball at the highest level. And Macedonia have to make do with four players who play outside of uh, Macedonia. One of them in Luxembourg. It's another goal for Macedonia. Malashovsky again, he's having a very good game coming in off of that left wing. Very sprightly. For somebody who is uh, 39. And he's making that experience. Count, isn't he? Mishovsky. And so we have our first timeout of the match. And uh, it's not one that Sweden would have expected to be going the way it is at the start. The coach is having to scream to make themselves heard. So what you're seeing is we're getting the one timeout in real time and the second uh, coach's timeout, the Macedonian one, was, was recorded. So we're just getting the highlights of that and then some live action going on. Don't worry, if there's been a goal, we would have uh, gone straight back to it and a little picture-in-picture picture of the timeout. But you can see the two contrasting styles. And at the moment, it's Sweden who are under the cosh and Macedonia defending for all they're worth, but it's Nilsson who's in. And not only have they a goal, but it's a two-minute suspension for Elko Markovsky. And now Sweden will look to capitalise on that, having had two two-minute suspensions themselves. And a real chance for them to get themselves back in the match and a slightly quieter Macedonian support. supposed to be any holding at all I'll try telling that to the players yeah, referee saying no holding blocking's okay getting in their ways okay but having the shirt isn't almost a Kemper not quite Good save. Yeah. 
It's looking like another two-minute suspension here for Macedonia. Indeed it is. Pedersen it was who tried to get through. And now Macedonia are in real trouble. Stoilov goes to the bench. Well, that will be a case now of defend, defend, defend for Macedonia. Trying to find a way through there, boys. The two extra defenders, but maybe they can make it happen. Chance here. Oh, good save. Well, that would have been a huge goal for Macedonia. Now Sweden can break two players over in the attack. And Macedonia doing their best to shut out Sweden. That's a very well taken goal. And the wing play coming to form. Henrik Lundström. Completely unmarked, all on his own. Nice bounce pass, in he goes. And no stopping that one. I'll try and keep hold of the ball here and at least get one player back onto court with Macedonia. And they're probably going to do that, as long as they don't waste it. Try to shoot when there's not a, an option available. But they lose the ball. Too many steps. And no bounces. And now Sweden have a chance again off the wing. Good save this time. And it's a two minute suspension for Lundstrom, is it? Or is it? Well, it looked like. We'll have another look on the replay, hopefully, and we'll get to see exactly who's got what. Defending in the area, try to get in Lundstrom's way. It's Macedonia who have another two-minute suspension. Majowski it was, he made no attempt, he's not allowed in the area. And Sweden back to within two goals. And another two and a bit minutes with a two-player advantage. And also, there's going to be a seven-metre penalty for them. Well, it started so brightly for Macedonia. Not like, oh, there's someone on the court here. And play carries on. Nice finish from Ekberg. Disgruntled Macedonian fan, perhaps, as that comes onto the court. Doesn't do anything. It could have, in fact... Done some damage to the Macedonian keeper if he wasn't careful. That could have been an ankle breaker for Ristovsky. Absolutely thoughtless behaviour from a fan to throw something onto the court. It is reprehensible when fans do that. So Sweden back closer to Macedonia. And Macedonia now have another player back in the action. Great finish. And having only just stepped onto the court, Stoilov makes an impression. Good steal, chance. Taken, brilliantly done. Really quick attack from Lazarov. He looked like he was going to jump and slide. And Sweden comes straight back. It's two fast breaks in a row. And no sooner has the Macedonian goal gone up on the board than Sweden have won back themselves and it's still two goals separating them. Well, it's all quiet down again now. Big surge of play as the game opened up. An intercept from Macedonia, and that's a good finish. Is it going to count? No, it isn't. Still up with the ball. A little bit hot in the arena for uh, Lindgren. Little handoff. 
time the ball is lost, is it? Yes, yeah, Sweden have it back. So Macedonia attack comes to nothing. Ten minutes to go in this first half. And Sweden having soaked up the early pressure. Still, though, can't find themselves back into the match per se, but that'll do nicely. Just one behind now. Lovely finish from uh, Ekdal. The left winger who plays his handball for Nantes in France. Back it comes. Azarov waiting for a chance. Stoilov with it. Azarov. Oh, wrestled to the floor. And it looked like he had hold of him. And a push which isn't going to be allowed. That was a thumping crash to the floor for Philip Mikulovsky. Just watch. There go the hands. And then there's the grab and the push right onto the hip. Some work to do for uh, Johan Scheustrand as Lazarov looks to get a goal for Macedonia. As he got in the locker. Oh, good save. Well, that earlier discussion between the goalkeepers has paid off because instead of doing the big star jump and the hands out wide, he just kept his elbow tucked in and that was enough to put something on the ball and deny the space under his arm, which they were discussing earlier, the two goalkeepers for Sweden. Fast across the area, no way through for <laughs> Andres Nilsson. They're all over him. And bees to honey. Nilsson gets it going again. Oh, hand and post, and yes, says the keeper. Well done, post. Wistowski got a little touch on it to send it to the post. Oh, this way, claim. It's two minutes for uh, Ekdal, he can't believe it as he looks around, they never can can they, every time the two minute suspension comes up there's that look of disbelief on the player's face as if butter wouldn't melt in the mouth and he's got two minutes to find out if it does now Stonehard will get it going again are off there's a look goes with a no look pass and that one sails wide this left his arm hanging out there which meant there wasn't going to be a shot coming and this glimpse of uh, Jonas Laholm number 15 for Sweden and he's now on court And big guns coming into the action now for Sweden as they need to up a gear. And there's a little bit of attention being paid off the ball. He's massive. This uh, Vladko Mikov, and he went down very easily under the attention of Jonas Lahom. A bit of play acting there for him not buying it. Which is not a word with the big Macedonian defender. Sweden get things going again here. And very quickly closed down. Anyone finding no room to work with, but that'll do nicely. Nine metres out, Kim Anderson is being very effective. Three from three, and they've all been from that range, from the same place as well, on that side of the court. And even with... Sweden being a man down, they've now levelled the match. Good save. Super save this time. Lazarov decides to shoot. It was well within range of uh, 
Show strand. Take us off for a quick drink. Well, what Sweden are doing there, doesn't want to get caught out. Good stop, that one was easy. And not enough angle for the ball to be put away by Lundstrom. Uh, timeout called. Macedonia it is who called it. For Sweden back in this match now. pictures of the Swedish timeouts we're now back to the live action Macedonia with the attack a bit of holding there on Lazarov by Lundström so Macedonia go again Lazarov no way through still up to Lazarov over the top keeper had no idea where that had gone. Pleased the fact that he heard it hit the post. By the time he looked, it rebanged it out again. And the booze start up once more. And Sweden come on the attack. The Macedonian fans back in vocal support for their team. Nicely done. Nicholas Ekberg was just minding his own business in the corner, waiting for his chance to attack. The ball comes out from Anderson. And then he just ghosts in and gets that one straight past the keeper, Ristovski, very easily. And Sweden have a lead. movement from Sweden in defence they really are shifting around the area very quickly to deny any space for Macedonia they wrestle to the floor what's the referee going to give here still obvious it was and it's another two minute suspension for Kim Ekdal just pulled him down hasn't he he's literally grabbed hold of him and trying to put him on the floor which he did and that's a lot of doing to get Stoilovs down he does like a chat with the refs it cost him two minutes last time penalty then for Macedonia no chance at all this time for the keeper Lazarov learning his lesson from the last penalty. Going low and wide. Not even the splits being able to save Shostrand. Nice finish from Daliba Dode. Veteran player at 32 years of age. 
Nice offload, really well worked. He leant back to create so much space to take the ball in the area, keeping his feet out of it, and then get the ball away. It wasn't the hardest of shots. It was well placed. Nazarov out wide, in off the wing. Oh, brilliantly done. Olszewski, denying his age. And five from five from the 39-year-old. He's not quickly against uh, Sweden's right wing. No, it's gone, and there's a chance here for Macedonia on the quick break. There's an overlap. Oh, how unlucky. Malashevsky should have scored, and he knows it. Joe Strand's a lucky goalie, saved by the crossbar. And Macedonia's opportunity to go back in front is denied. And with a little over two minutes left. In this first half, it's Sweden who are right back in it. But Macedonia are not going away, that's for sure. And there's a two-minute suspension here for number 11, Vladimir Timokov. Sweden went to attack, so... More trouble for Macedonia. Comes across. Well, he comes across, just tries to rugby tackle him. I he wasn't expecting that, that's for sure. Just checking. But, uh, he can go on court. Still back in. Straight in, no messing at all. Sweden have the lead. Nice finish from Nicholas Egberg. Macedonia will be a man down at the start of the second half, but only for a few seconds. And the Swedish fans now can uh, smile and start to enjoy things. Many of them here, pretty much like a home game for Macedonia. But the crowd very quiet at the moment. Off. Shut down very quickly. Clock stopped. A little bit of perspiration on the floor needs to be cleaned. A wild swing from uh, Lazarov. That was nowhere near the goal. Closing minute of this first half. Sweden on the attack. They lead by one. And Macedonia, a man down. Nicely done. Another great finish. Henrik Lundström with his second goal of the match. Coming in off of that left wing. Another ball from Anderson, who's been setting up the wingers left and right. As well as bagging himself a few goals. Nice finish from Macedonia and a good way to end the half for them. They're only going to be one in it, most likely, because that long shot signals the end of the first half. Macedonia with the last goal of the half. And it was a very good half indeed at the beginning for Macedonia. Still... On reflection, they'll be pretty pleased with the way things are going. The half-time result, Sweden lead 14-13. But Macedonia are giving as good as they get at the moment. 